Before one begins to understand the fine art of shooting liquid asphalt, the operator must have knowledge of the different bituminous materials or liquid asphalts, from ACs to emulsions to cutbacks, and how they relate to each other with the potential dangers involved. The operator must have an understanding of the liquid bituminous materials to be used. He must know whether it is an AC product, a cutback product, or an emulsion, its characteristics, and its maximum recommended temperature. Let's take a moment to briefly explain the makeup of these types of materials. In a very simplistic model, all asphalt products are derived from crude oil. The crude oil is brought to the surface and transported to the refinery where it is processed into different products. The first products used in the distillation process are called light ends, such as gasoline, diesel fuel, and lubricating oils. Eventually what is left at the bottom, or the last stage, is the asphalt cement. Asphalt cement is the base liquid, or glue, in the asphalt paving mixes. There are various grades of asphalt cements, or ACs, related to their viscosity or hardness. The AC is also the base product for the various road construction liquid asphalts. AC can be blended with light ends and lubricating oils to produce what is called cutbacks. AC can also be blended in a mill where it is sheared and suspended in water and an emulsifying agent to produce what we refer to as an emulsion. There are many variations of emulsion products. Some asphalt cement is blended with polymers and recycled rubber to create specialized products. One of the critical things to know when using liquid asphalt is the proper temperature. Knowing the proper temperature for the material is critical in getting a good job and, most importantly, in handling the material in a safe manner. Liquid asphalt can be very sticky and very hot. Temperatures range from 130 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit for the emulsions and from an ambient to 400 degrees for the cutbacks and the ACs. Since liquid asphalts are composed of hydrocarbons, they may give off fumes which can be flammable as well as explosive. Cutbacks, in which AC has been blended with either diesel fuel, benzene, or naphtha, are particularly flammable. There are three types of cutbacks, SC, MC, and RC. These designations refer to the curing time, that is, the amount of time it takes for the solvents to evaporate, leaving the residual asphalt cement. RC stands for rapid curing, MC stands for medium curing, and SC stands for slow curing. Thus, RCs, being the most rapid curing, contain the lightest, most volatile solvents, while MCs and SCs contain solvents that take longer to evaporate. Fumes from the solvent can be explosive. It is therefore mandatory that no spark or open flame be allowed anywhere in the area where these products are in use. This includes things like smoking, use of cigarette lighters, or hand torches. Another important safety aspect that must always be kept in mind is never mix AC or a hot product and water. Since the AC will be at a temperature of 275 to 400 degrees, it is above the boiling point of water. If an AC at 400 degrees comes in contact with water, it instantly boils the water into steam. The steam occupies over 1600 times the volume of the water. This expansion is almost instant. If the manhole is open, it will cause hot material to come out in a foamy mixture. The asphalt will come bubbling, spraying, gurgling, and can cause severe injury to anyone caught in its path. 
If the manhole were closed, this will confine the pressure and can possibly rupture the tank with disastrous consequences. Having said never mix asphalt and water, we find that there are products that do exactly that. Emulsions take AC, water, and an emulsifying agent such as soap and shear the asphalt into very small particles which are then suspended in a mixture of soapy water. Once the emulsion is applied, the soaps and the water eventually break off and evaporate, leaving the base asphalt cement. There are two basic types of emulsions, anionic and cationic. These cannot be mixed as one is positively charged while the other is negatively charged. Emulsions are typically handled at temperatures ranging from 130 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Emulsions go through a reaction referred to as breaking. This is where and when the water separates from the asphalt cement. The emulsion will typically turn from a brown to a black color during the break. The break is designed to be either rapid or slow. This characteristic gives the emulsion a shelf life. One must have an understanding of this property to ensure quality work. The Asphalt Institute has published a chart in a booklet called Safe Storage and Handling of Hot Asphalt. The chart lists the last product used versus the product to be loaded. One can see what procedure is required before loading the new material. For instance, if the last load was a cationic emulsion and the next load is to be an AC asphalt, you must completely empty the tank of any previous material. No moisture can be present. There are various procedures to prepare the tank for switching material types. It can be as simple as loading at a slow rate, or it might involve a complete flush. The operator must use extreme care and be knowledgeable of the operation. Knowledge of the specific product is absolutely necessary for the safe operation of the distributor. Further information on liquid asphalts may be obtained from the Asphalt Institute or your asphalt supplier.